What's going through your head right now? Um, I, I can't believe that just happened. Um, you know, of anything, um, you know, that's happened throughout my career, I think, and inside the park home run is, is um, by far the craziest thing and, and probably um, the least probability of, of anything that's happened in my career. So um, for it to happen today and, and on Mo Gabba Day, um, of all days, I know he was up there um, smiling and, and laughing at me running around the bases. So, um, you know, can't script it better than that. Yeah, Trey, I mean, it's such an emotional day for you for a lot of different reasons, including Mo Gabba Day. How have you been able just to kind of hold it all together and be a professional and keep doing what you do? Yeah, it can be tough. Um, you know, uh, obviously there's a little bit of uncertainty um, in the coming days, but um, all I know is, is I'm here right now. I love this team, and, and we're playing really good baseball. It has been an incredible turnaround for us, and, and um, I'd like to thank all the fans for all their support this year. And, and um, you know, we love you guys, and, and it's been it's been a really fun year here. So just been trying to focus on on um, every day. And, and I had a really good talk with Hyder a few days ago. Um, you know, especially when I was struggling at the plate, um, really struggling, and, and he called me. In, into the office and, and we had a good talk and he kind of helped snap me out of it so so that was great yeah look that sacrifice fly we were talking about that a couple days ago you got that sacrifice fly out the right center field and you barreled it up and said look out you know because when you start hitting it that way that's when you get going but when you hit the ball off the bat could you tell that josh Lowe didn't quite see that ball out in right field yeah i could tell and, and playing right field here towards the end of these um you know 12 30 one o'clock games i know that that the sun is really tough for the right fielder so um you know the second that i saw him put his glove up i knew that i needed to, to get going um you know get scooting um and and luckily it took the bounce it did and i was able to get around Trey, what was that moment like between the eighth and ninth innings when you stepped out of the dugout it was incredible. Um, you know, I said a few days ago that I was going to treat treat this week like it was my last week, just in case, um, you know, because the probability is greater than zero. But I have no idea what's going to happen. But I would have been remiss to kind of get caught up and not feeling great at the plate and the struggles rather than um, soaking up every minute here at Camden Yards. I mean, I got drafted by the Orioles um, nine years ago. It's my 10th season in the organization, so it's the only place I know, and, and I love it here. So, um, you know, from the fans from Aberdeen to Delmarva to, to Frederick Bowie, Norfolk, and, and here in Baltimore, um, everybody's been incredible from the second I got drafted, and, and it's home to me, you know, and no matter what, a big part of me is always going to be here. We love you too, Trey. Congratulations on the win. All right, Congratulations, thank you. Trey.